I'm so happy to meet you. I have just, I, I just think you're amazing, everything that you're doing, and that you're here in the studio. I really appreciate it. Likewise, I'm a, a huge Fallon fan, and like my mom is super excited that I'm here right now. So I got to give a shout out to her before we even get started. What's her name? My mom, Michelle. Yeah. Michelle. Hey, Michelle. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Thanks <laughs> for him. She's, she was going to disown me if I didn't give her a shout out. So. Oh, well. She made a good one. You're a good guy. You're a really good guy. So you played the first half of uh, the season sort of uh, regular, and then second half in a bubble. Mm -hmm. How was that? An experience, um, for sure. Uh, it was something that was new for all of us, um, that we all had to get adjusted to, make a lot of sacrifices for. But I think it turned out you know, well. I think the, the union and the NBA did a good job. There were zero positive uh, tests for corona that was mm -hmm. detected. So. I thought it was a success. You almost didn't go into the bubble, and what changed your mind? Uh, really, um, um, my grandpa. Uh, my grandpa was diagnosed with cancer um, just right before they were talking about getting ready to go into the bubble, and I'm the sole proprietor. Like he's been living with me for the last four or five or six months, so um, he needed me around. Um, but when we had the conversation, he didn't necessarily want to, to start his chemo. He was just gonna to come to terms. He's like the toughest guy I've ever met, by the way. Like, I, I gotta, like, gotta introduce him. He's like a superhero. Like, he's been to the Vietnam War. He has, you know, he's been shot in the head twice. He's had a heart attack, cancer, COVID all at the same time, and has beat it all. Wow. Um, but. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's give him a shout out. What's his name? Um, um, Willie Brown. Willie. Great. Willie Brown. The great will be is what they call and, him. And he wasn't going to keep fighting after all that? Yeah, he just said he was done. He said he was tired. And how I convinced him was like, I'm going to go down there and play, and but you got to play too. So he liked the sound of that, and he signed up. And, and How's I, he doing? He's doing good now. Good, good. He's doing great. That's fantastic. And who was it that, that in, instilled in you, because you give back you know, so much. You received the Community Assist Award, right? Um, and do you feel like it's, it's important for pro athletes all to have this kind of platform to, to help the community? Yeah, I think it goes hand in hand. Um, for me, it's kind of like strange, a little bit awkward receiving uh, um, recognition or for being into the community and helping out. It's a strange dynamic for me because, you know, my family and the people around me have always instilled that you know giving back is like the obligation, um, so it goes hand in hand, in my opinion. Yeah. So. It's amazing because it should be instilled in all of us from a young age that that's sort of we're all here to to help serve, um, but it isn't in everybody. So I love that you do that, and you're teaching you're teaching classes on education reform at both. Harvard and MIT, is that right? Uh, I gave a lecture at Harvard like uh -huh. two years ago uh -huh. um, um, on education, sending around that. And um, I guess after that, it kind of picked up. And MIT offered me a, a fellowship, um, which means like basically they have like a bunch of different fields they feel like are changing the world. Mm -hmm. uh, and they try to put them all in the same room because they believe change comes from a bunch of different fields working together rather than just one you know, or two. So trying to intersect and bring change that way. And, uh, and I've started a program now with MIT, and I'm working on education opportunities and stuff through that. You're very humble, but that's a big deal. That's really cool. I love that you're doing that. You started a foundation last year? Yep. What is the, tell us about that. Uh, I started the foundation to uh, positively affect like young men and women through educational experiences, um, through athletics, and also social programs. And uh, the name of the foundation is called JUICE. And JUICE is a synonym for energy. And that's what we're trying to do, like spread positive energy through the foundation, through the community, and through the world, to be honest. Again, I could just do that to you the whole time. <laughs> you're a good guy. You're just a good guy. So your birthday uh, is this week? Have we had your birthday yet? When is it? October 24th. 24th, all right. Well, I heard there's something that you can't live without. Tell us what that is. Tea. Um, you love tea. I love tea. I know that's probably a strange dynamic for a large guy to love tea, but that's, that's the truth. Do you like like green tea or mushroom tea? That's that's what I'd like to know. <laughs> uh, 
All types. All types of tea. All uh, types of tea. I wish Our, this was tea right here. I it's think. not tea, but I did get you some tea. This is for your birthday. All right, it is, okay. it is every kind of tea and a teapot. There's honey in there. Everything you need to have tea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then I'll give you some more tea. It doesn't look like a lot of tea. I'm going to give you more tea. All right, thank you. Um, all right, also we want to help your foundation. Our friends at Cheddarfly want to celebrate this moment and your birthday by giving the Juice Foundation a check for $10,000. Wow, thank you. <laughs> you are so welcome.